Okay, this is the, uh, the third video in the use of uh, Sigma Studios with the um, ADAU1701 from Shure Electronics, uh, which is a little board which comes with four potentiometers, a reset button, two connectors, one for expansion and one for um, programming. Um, so today we're going to look at <coughs> Some noise filters. Um, this might be used for a amateur radio application. We have a fairly noisy band and need to try and get rid of some of that noise. So it's a very simple noise filter and we'll have a look and see how we can uh, put this together and, uh, and what it might look like. So starting from a, uh, a blank screen, this is a new project. So we need to add our processor Add a square prom. Add the USB interface, which you'll see is coming up with the background green, which means it's already connected and working. Connect those all together. Uh, I'm not going to configure any inputs at the moment. Uh, might do in a bit. Uh, if I want to configure the chip, if you remember, I have to go to the uh, register window. And, uh, and set some things up in there. But I'm not going to do that just yet. So we'll start off with uh, an input. One of the uh, one of the ADC inputs. There are two show, and there are two available. We're only going to be using one of them, and we're going to be using a single output. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect the input to the output, download it to the device using the link compile download button. Just download it one more time. Okay, so you can hear the noise. Which is uh, from the radio. Now, a lot of that noise is unwanted. You can hear the variable frequency bit. That's a bit like white noise in the background. It's not white noise. It's uh, band noise, which varies in degree from hour to hour, day to day, band to band. Now, ideally, what we'd like to do is to subtract the noise and have only the wanted signal. So in the case of this situation here where we have a, a heterodyne, it would be nice to take away the noise and just leave the heterodyne. So let's just try a simple subtraction. Um, basic DSP, arithmetic operations, subtract. So I'll take the signal. I'm going to see connection in here. Take the signal. Subtract it from itself. Download. And of course we have silence because uh, we've subtracted everything. The, uh, the wanted part and the unwanted part. So that's clearly not going to work. Um, now, ideally, we'd have a channel which we could compare it with. Um, but unfortunately, we don't because it's only a mono signal. Uh, arguably, we could compare it with uh, something a few kilohertz away if the, uh, the noise was the same, but we don't have the ability to do that because I only have a single radio. So I've got to think of some other way of reducing the noise level somehow. Now, I can just use filtering high pass and low pass filters. Um, but here's something which is just a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample of the input signal and delay it slightly. Um, and then I'm going to take the delayed signal away from the original signal and see if that has any effect. So let's have a look. Um, basic DSP. DSP functions, delay. So let's just take a delay. Okay, 
Okay. Now let's take this signal here, subtract it, just delay it a little bit just by one sample, and then subtract that from the original signal. I've got the signal slightly reduced in amplitude, um, but it sounds a bit cleaner. How can we compare the two? Well, we need a multiplexer to switch between the two. So let's put a multiplexer in there. Just a simple switch. There we go. Let's get another T connection because I need to connect some wires together. Oh, actually, I don't need that in this case. I'll need that in a minute. Just put that there. So let's take the original input signal to there and the modified signal to there. Download that to the device. So now, depending on the switch position, we either get the original signal or the filtered signal and you could say okay well it's just a little bit quieter um, so let's just see what effect we're having I'm going to put a little bit of gain in here just to increase the uh, the level of the signal um, adjustable gain A little bit of amplification in there. So I'd make these two signals the same magnitude so that it makes it easier to compare the two. So let's just download that. Switch between the two and let's increase the gain. Are fairly comparable in terms of volume. It's the original signal. And this is the modified version. Be able to do something a little bit more with this. Um, let's turn that down for a second. I'm going to add another input. I'm going to grow this algorithm by one. So let's make it a three position switch now. And I'm going to add, I'll leave that. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, I'm going to add another section, but this time I'm going to put an add in. So I'll use another delay. I can, I can copy and paste delays. So copy and paste just by right clicking. That's the easiest way rather than going over here and finding another one. Now this time I want to add signals together. So I'm going to take the, um, I'll use this T connection over here that I didn't use earlier. take my subtracted signal and I'm going to feed it through here I'm also going to feed it through the delay and feed it back in as an addition so I'm now subtracting by one delay and I'm now adding by another one I'm going to take that up to the amplifier pop another amplifier in as well for the second section move things around a bit so they're a bit easier to see. Um, that's wrong isn't it? I've put the wrong thing there. Let's get rid of that. Let's connect that to that as it should be. Um, that amplifier should be connected to the first output. I'll put another amplifier in. For the second output. So 
so that we can try and equalize the amplitude of the output signal one or three to make the comparisons a bit easier so we have the original signal coming along this line here we have the delayed and subtracted signal through the second point on the switch and the delayed subtracted and then added signal on the third just click that on there and they'll download compile and download that's the original signal subtracted subtracted and added this one's a little bit louder so i'll just take that down a bit very little difference between the bottom two although it does appear that there are some lower frequencies have been put back in which the original system had taken out incidentally something else you can do is a bit of pre-processing it's just to remove any dc offsets that might be present um, you can just pop a, a high pass filter in here so we'll just do that and let's go and get a filter in this case it's not a problem but it's good practice i'll take a uh, single channel in for the filter pop them in there and connect that to the input and the output we'll make keep the six uh, sixth order filter uh, we want a high pass filter and we'll set the pass band at 10 hertz so it's not going to affect our audio at all it does just provide a dc offset uh, link compile and download and now just listen to the three outputs that's the original filtered subtract only So you're taking a little bit of the noise out and a little bit of the lower frequencies as well, but nothing that's going to cause us any problems. Uh, so that's the end of this video on just implementing a simple filter. And hopefully you picked up a few other tips as well.